MASH really is a very beloved TV program here in the U.S. Beginning in 1972, the show ran for 11 seasons before ending with a series finale that was one of the most watched television programs of all time. Over the course of those 11 seasons, many of the main characters left the show. And almost every time, TV audiences noticed and watched with a mix of sincere sadness, along with hope that the new character would fill the gap left behind. Like I said, that happened almost every time except for when the little feller that Radar is holding here went missing in action. You see, when he disappeared, no one noticed. Now it's reasonable to think that part of the reason for that is that when Gary Berghoff left the program, his teddy bear would disappear as well. But that just isn't the case. You see, on the second to last episode of the series, in an episode titled, As Time Goes By, Hawkeye supposedly puts Radar's beloved stuffed friend in a time capsule saying, This belonged to Radar. He left it for me. Let it stand for all the soldiers who came over as boys and left as men. The only problem is that there is no way that is the same stuffed bear. Let's look closer. Look at the mouth, the nose, and most noticeably, the one eye that Radar's beloved friend had. Now look at the imposter the fraudster, the devious little stuffed monster that somehow, in some way, disposed of the real deal and took its place once Radar had left. Yep, without a doubt, the stuffed animal that actor Gary Berghoff had affectionately nicknamed Tiger was gone. So what happened? Where did it go? Many fans expected it to be part of the MASH exhibit at the Smithsonian in Washington, but that's simply not the case. Although the exhibit is a wonderful way for any MASH fan to spend an hour or two, Tiger is nowhere to be found. Over the years, actor Gary Berghoff would spend hour upon hour trying to track down his little stuffed friend. And in 2005, Gary hit pay dirt and found Tiger for sale at a Hollywood auction. It turns out that one of the set designers took the little feller home at some point before that second to last episode of MASH. Which is why there was a last-minute scramble on the part of MASH's then-current set design team, which resulted in a less-than-adequate replacement. Kinda reminds me of the time that the Dukes of Hazard had to scramble for replacements as well. But that's a topic that I've already covered, so let's get back to MASH, more specifically, Radar's little teddy bear. So Gary purchased Tiger for $11,000. Pretty pricey, but... There was a lot of love there, apparently, and I'm not sure why, but it does appear that sometime around 2014, Tiger must have wore out his welcome with Berghoff, who put him back up for auction. I do love the handwritten note that Gary provided explaining the history of the little teddy bear. Really nice touch. Auction bidders must have liked it as well, because this time, Tiger sold for a little over $14,000. One final note, perhaps those of you who have children or maybe grandkids that watch Sesame Street, well, you might have noticed that these days that show's iconic big bird character can be seen with a stuffed bear. Anyone want to guess the name of that bear? You guessed it. The bear's name is Radar. All right, that's it. Radar was really fun, and he was just one of many wonderful characters that made the show one of the best ever. And Tiger? Well, he may not have had a speaking role on the show, but he was pretty darn important as well. And now you know exactly what happened to Radar's little stuffed friend. Okay, now it's your turn. Please share your memories in the comments section, and while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.